So I'm in my studio again and I'm working on a new project which is a fish platter. I like working on projects that have utility as well as aesthetic value and it's an early birthday present for my mum so here goes. This is my fish platter that I've been working on. It's work, it's on pine wood, it's a harder wood so it's, it's durable, it's great. Um, I like the fact that you've got the gum knot right where his eyes should be and then I've done several carving impressions right along to make him look more fish-like. I will be showing you one of the finishing touches and one of the fins. What I've got here and what I've used for this is besides the hand carved chisels, I've got the needle bits, the de needle diamond bits, which go onto a Dremel and they're great for these impressions, which I think works just fine. So, I'm not wearing a dust mask for the benefit of the video, uh, simply because it's harder to hear. Put my safety goggles on. On my Dremel, I've got a stone grinder about a millimeter in thickness, just to go in between the fin lining to give it more depth. to the noise your tools make so you know exactly um, where you're going and if it's, if it's hitting right on the graining then you know that you can take your bits slightly towards the side and so that way you're not damaging the wood. on two, two little narrow lines onto the fin and I'll show you that up close so you can see these two that I've just worked on. Now the interesting part about the, the Dremel and the stone grinder is that you need to keep in mind that with the graining you can you can leave the, the power of um, the marking, it's got one, two, three, four, five, and I think up to six speeds. You can reduce the speeds, but you let the stone grinder do the work for you. So you're not actually pressing into the wood. You're letting the stone grinder do the work because I think it wears out the stone grinder if you try to press through to it, and that's not a very good idea to make your tools before you can actually finish your project. So this is my fish platter. It's made of pine wood, it's a hard wood, it's a durable wood and so so far I think I've done okay. So thank you for tuning in.